Business leaders in New Zealand appear to be putting holidays on hold for the sake of their companies. A survey has revealed that last year they just about led the world in refusing to take time off. Alexia O'Brien has details. Jane Patton's in the business of babies and it never lets up. She hasn't even had a summer break. Twelve years ago you, you, didn't, you could go away, there was a lot less stress, but even in that short period of time, a lot more pressure and stress on us. And she's not alone. A recent survey by international accounting firm Grant Thornton found our business leaders have cut down on holiday time from 18 days in 2010 to 13 last year. It is a lot harder to make a dollar in, at the moment and uh, holidays are, are what end up being sacrificed. But sacrificing time out can lead to sacrificing good business. That business owner is less likely to concentrate on strategy, less likely to concentrate and see those next big opportunities coming through for their business. And that could be bad for the long-term health of our economy. We'll also perhaps start to see um, more and more people retiring at a younger age. New Zealand's had one of the biggest holiday reductions in the world, beaten only by Japan, where there was an average of just five days of leave taken, believed to be down to the earthquake and tsunami disaster in March. But while holidays may have decreased, average pay for high-level staff is up. There's nothing particularly ex excessive about executive pay, given the demand for those individuals and the demand for them to perform. The survey found that business leaders here in the Asia-Pacific region were some of the most stressed in the world. But business leaders here are cautiously optimistic that 2012 will be better than last year. Which means when businesses begin to take off again, maybe the people running them will too. Alexia O'Brien, One News. And a law change making Waitangi and Anzac